We are back in Chicago, spending a week living with the refreshed Nissan Pathfinder. Had to load the trunk full of some camera gear to bring to the office. Have the seats folded down from last night, plenty of space. A three row SUV from Nissan. I attended the media launch for the new Pathfinder. So we did on-road and a little bit of off-roading and I was really impressed with the updates. New technology, new interior, new styling. It absolutely needed it and the Pathfinder is a pretty nice history. So this is the latest and greatest. It is a pretty high trim vehicle. We'll take a look at the window sticker and we'll be spending a week living with the new Nissan Pathfinder. We've got the trunk all loaded up. Obviously it's quite practical. This is a Pathfinder Platinum trim. So it's got all the nice bells and whistles, the nicest materials you can get. And just from first glance, you can see it's been properly, properly updated. Light dusting of snow last night, so the Pathfinder is no longer nice and clean. We've got a lot of Pathfinder lettering on the outside too. On that chrome door sill, got a trim applique and then around back. Got the bigger Pathfinder lettering that's spaced out across the rear, which is definitely a premium touch. This one is a platinum four-wheel drive. This body line is really cool. It incorporates the tail light here. Nice sharp like shoulder line that continues across the side of the car here with the snow accentuating it. If I recall correctly, this kind of angled C-pillar with the two-tone finish is supposed to reminisce some of the older Pathfinders. Two-tone finish does look nice. Blacked out roof with the body color lower. Then that silver trim down here. These are the upgraded wheels too. And around front, we've got an update to the Nissan grill, the new Nissan logo. Bit of a startup animation with the full digital cluster, the tack and the speedometer. And in the middle, we've got the full Nissan drive assist system. And then we have wireless CarPlay. If I want to store my pocket, hooked up. Wireless charging pad down here. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. Turn it up because it's cold again. Pathfinder lettering here in the center console. Your drive modes. Auto stop start, auto hold, parking brake, and the gear selector, which pushes forward and back. So that's reverse, that's drive, that's park. Reverse. Pulls up a 360 overhead view camera and a backup camera, which is improving resolution, but not fantastic. We've had the third row folded down, but the second row is also really easy to fold down. So we've got this seat here. All we need to do is pull this handle, and there we go. We have a pretty flat load floor across the entire back of the Pathfinder. To bring the seat back up, we'll pull the handle, and the seat is back up. If the third row seats are up to access it, the push of one button right here moves the seat forward and then we can push it back here but you see it slid forward because it's adjustable there so there's a handle underneath the pole and you can slide it back and forth and I'm, I'm doing this all one-handed I'm holding a camera in my other hand some of these uh, folding and moving seats take two hands a bit more effort that was actually really easy to do with one hand We've got some pretty good tech with Pro Pilot Assist. So this blue button here, circles around the car, activates it. And we can go ahead and set a speed, following distance. Increase it to speed on the 55. And it does a really good job of lane centering, actually. You have to keep at least one hand on the steering wheel. You'll see that green icon there. If you don't, it gets angry and turns red. But the information is also displayed up on the heads up display. You see the, the green lines for distance and also the lane, the speed it's set at, and also the, the little steering wheel icon. Currently, my personal standard for like the best SUV in this segment is the Kia Telluride. It's really, really good all around. I spent a week with that and I really liked it and understood why it's so popular. So the upgraded Nissan Pathfinder, or the updated Nissan Pathfinder, has a lot of really competitive features too. I feel that one of the biggest advantages that Nissan has is the Pro Pilot system. It really does um, blow the one in the Kia out of the water. It's, it's quite a bit better, I think, than the one in the Kia. So that is off the bat one of the advantages I can think of. All right, let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So it's a 2022 Pathfinder Platinum. See the new Nissan logo on not only the steering wheel, but the window sticker has a 3.5 liter V6 that makes 284 horsepower and 259 pound-feet of torque. 
a 9-speed automatic transmission, intelligent 4-wheel drive, manual mode with paddle shifters, auto hold, and as a Pathfinder Platinum, it's a pretty well option one. Only early options on it, so $48,000 base price. We've got running boards, captain's chairs, the lighting package, and two-tone paint for an as-option price of $51,395. So again, not too many options. It's already very well equipped as standard LED lights, heated and uh, front and rear seats. We've got heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all sorts of things. 12-inch digital dashboard and a nine inch digital screen with CarPlay running right there. It's wireless CarPlay. Got the center cluster, which is pretty nice. And we have the heads up display out there. You also see Nissan that's getting into the world of acronyms with all their safety and security systems. All sorts of uh, automated this and emergency that, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, all these types of things. But that's a lot of acronyms. <laughs> Fuel economy rating is 20 city, 25 highway, 22 combined. There is just this V6 available. I do not believe there is a plug-in hybrid. There's no turbo application, no four cylinders. So in terms of efficiency, it doesn't have a plug-in hybrid, but I think the Kia Telluride was the same. It was just a V6. There was not an option to have a plug-in hybrid or even any mild hybrid or anything like that. So efficiency is just all right, given the, uh, the size of the vehicle, the segment, the power and so forth. The Pathfinder is actually the first vehicle I ever towed anything with. We were at the media drive and one of the Nissan team members was like, hey, you want to try towing the trailer? I was like, sure. It actually wasn't that difficult when you have all the tech and stuff like that. I'm sure years and years ago, it was much more challenging. It took skill. Now it's just like, well, everything is handled by the vehicle. And that was, it was a cool experience though. Testing out the Pro Pilot on the freeway. You'll see everything is green and happy. And you keep a hand on the wheel and it does things really well, even curves. It'll handle curves, it'll apply the brakes and so forth. We're in a straight line right now, so obviously it's very simple, but uh, I'm pretty impressed by the newest Nissan Pro Pilot system. Good morning. Final day with the Nissan Pathfinder. It's actually a nice sunny morning, nice weather. Let's hop inside. It's got a flat bottom steering wheel too. I'm always used to that big and more like little sporty stands or sporty cars. This insert on the door trim is pretty cool. Plenty of storage in a door pocket there. Stitching is pretty high quality. Runs across the entire dashboard there. Wireless CarPlay just launches right up. Uh, heated seats, but the heated steering wheel doesn't seem to have memory. Heated seats do, and or cooled seats. A little chilly this morning still. Start off with the seatbelt notification, which will eventually go away. And again, the new Nissan logo which I think is a lot more modern and clean. How are we doing in terms of fuel economy for this trip so far? Let's see, how do I make the seatbelt thing go away? Nope, that's all sensing stuff, speed limit sign. Let's go over to here. 21.8 MPG, it sounds about right. I've been mostly doing city driving, 253 miles. That wraps up my week living with the new Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. This is a nicely updated vehicle. Exterior styling is sharp and unique. I like the interior, good use of materials, good tech. Nissan Pro Pilot Assist is pretty impressive. Very practical. The second row seats are nicely designed and innovative. It's a good overall refresh. If you want to see what it's like the off-road a Nissan Pathfinder, go watch the video I posted when this first launched on the Media Drive. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this vlog living with the Nissan Pathfinder. We're about to swap it tomorrow for the updated Frontier, spending some more time with Nissan Frontier. I did get like one or two days with it when it first came out. Excited to see what that's like for a whole week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.